Hey everybody, this is the Scotsman at Alabama Pipe Welders Academy. We got Dave with us, he's a pipeliner. Show us how to fit up this 12 inch 250 wall. About a nickel landing and about a 16th gap. You see him filing off the sh uh, shavings on the inside after he put his landing on there. And there's a spacing tool. So what he's gonna do here, he's gonna put two tacks in, about an inch long, one at 12 o'clock and one at six o'clock. Once we get these tacks in, he's running about third gear at about 40 on the fine current. He's running a diesel. We ran one half of this with a SA 200 gas. But um, once you get these tacks in, you see him here, he's putting a wedge in the tight side. So he, he said about three o'clock, put a wedge in. Well, from 12 down to the wedge and stop, knock the wedge out and go to the other side, weld the root in from 12 to six. Here he is welding down to the wedge. So just a few uh, pointers and tips for you guys that had never done this before. You know, you're gonna need somebody to adjust the amps or, you know, the current as you're as you're moving along because the, the gap's gonna change and the puddle's gonna do different things and you're gonna need to go up 10, down 10, up five, down five. You're gonna need somebody there. Or you're gonna need a remote hooked up to your machine and have it stand you know sitting beside you on the pipe we had a helper helping us out so he was uh able to control the remote while we were welding but you know it's a uh, as you're coming down and welding it's a constant up down up down and uh one of the keys is when you get to the bottom how you tie in without getting any undercut is uh you know we're running about he said down five he had about three inches left on that bottom quarter and said down five and it was down to third gear and 30 on the fine current and tied in just fine, no undercut, uh, plenty of reinforcement. But uh, you can see him wiggling that rod back and forth. He's shaking that flux off the other side. A lot of times it, it might arc wonder off to one side bevel and you can kind of rock it back and forth a little bit in a fast motion and, and get it to knock the flux off the other side of the rod and, and go ahead and uh, it, it'll straighten itself out. So on this other side, same thing, same technique. Adjust your amps accordingly. Read the puddle correctly. Keep your angles right from your work angle and also your travel angle. Um, your travel angle is pretty much 90 degrees and so is your work. Except for when you get down to the bottom, you'll have a little bit like a 5 degree travel angle pushing back into the puddle at the bottom. Of course, turn your amps down just a little bit when you get down to tie in. Once you get the bead in, you're going to do some grinding. Knock the top off of that bead and uh, be real careful with your grinder. Don't get any grind marks outside the bevel. That's cut out. Same thing with art marks. 1104 code is real strict on this. No art marks outside the bevel. So just be aware of that. Same thing with your grinding. Moving into this hot pass, it is a scrape drag method. And you can see here, had to turn it up just a little bit. Uh, Third gear, running 45.50, scrape drag, all the way from 12 to 6, straight down. 80-10, 532nd pipeliner. So this downhill welding, this 1104 onshore pipeline, it's uh, it's it's pretty difficult. It can give you some problems if you're not if you've never been exposed to it before. That's kind of why we're doing this video, and just helping you work at work through some of the problems. Uh, leads me into this story you know problems they they're not always bad they can be good too you know most people work real hard their whole lives to avoid problems rather than finding ways to embrace them and learn from them it said you know the whole process of meeting and solving problems is what gives life meaning problems are the cutting edge that distinguishes between success and failure Problems call forth our courage and wisdom. Indeed, they create our courage and wisdom. It's only because of problems that we grow mentally and spiritually. You know, Ben Franklin, he said, those things that hurt, instruct. 
So, and somebody else a long time ago said, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. So I just hope you're encouraged, and, and you know, problems always aren't bad. They can be good. They can help you learn how to solve them and build character. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video, and here's some of the cap techniques that we do for the top quarter. It's just a back and forth, back and forth almost like a Z pattern as you're moving down. One thing we didn't really touch on was the field pass, and uh, that was because I was welding with him. He let me pull my SA 200 out and brother-in-law with him, but uh, it, it, it ran pretty good. And uh, th he said, that's the easiest part. I'll let you join me. So uh, I didn't mess it up too bad anyway. But uh, basically, it's uh, just a drag the field pass, drag it straight down. You can run small circles, however you want to do it, but uh, just make sure that you can control the puddle carrying carrying the metal. Make sure it's not too big of a puddle and uh, that you can control it and don't overfill it. You don't want to overfill the last fill. Uh, if you got to run a strip sometimes right about three or nine o'clock, it'll be low. You can run your little strip there, but um, you want everything to be just right at flush, right just a hair below or right at flush, and then that that sets you up perfect for the cat pass. So right in between uh, about three o'clock and five o'clock, they call that dead man's curve. You wanna do your best not to have to start or stop right here. Try to uh, plan it to where you're gonna weld a, a full rod through this curve and it's a, a as you can see the manipulation is a little bit quicker back and forth back and forth back and forth than it was at the top and that's just to to spread this puddle out and and keep control of it uh you're fighting gravity a little bit more here in the 5g position so uh, you just want to make sure that you're whatever manipulation works for you uh use it but uh this is just one style or or type of welding that works so uh, just pay attention to it play with it the main thing is keep that puddle you know behind the rod let the rod don't ever let that puddle get in front of the rod as you're moving down so finally last but not least is cap pass on the bottom once you come through dead men's curve you got to change up your manipulation a little bit for the bottom and it's just a semicircle as you can see here coming up one bevel wall into the puddle, back down the other side. So it's like a half moon uh, or semicircle manipulation. And that's just helping you fight against gravity, control that puddle as you're going into the bottom for the tie-in. We encourage everybody to, you know, try different techniques with everything, but uh, we just want to show you guys just a real quick brief uh, how-to on this so you know what to look for and what, what it needs to look like. And uh, here's a, finished product cap root everything looks really good hope you enjoy our videos please subscribe and uh we'll see you next time have a merry christmas